Hi, Sonic State. I'm Mark Verbos from Verbos Electronics. We're at the NAMM Show 2020, kicking it off, first day. The new stuff that we have that we're showing all, uh, is the, the foundation oscillator, which is a smaller format single oscillator with a few interesting wave, shapes, uh, wave shaping options that I'll show in a second. The noise and filter, which is a small 4 HP pink noise generator and a four band fixed filter bank. And the small new amp and tone, which is an adaptation of the amplitude and tone controller, which was one of our original modules, shrunken down to fit in a smaller space with uh, a couple of revisions and updates to make it function a little bit nicer and um, capable of, of w what the original one was, but also moving it forward into the next generation. The, the other thing that we have here that um, of interest that's brand new is the, the black box, which is a 42 HP extra thin, heavy steel powder coated box with power built in that, that a Mini Horus can go into and perhaps in the future some other modules that we design will fit into it. And this case here is similar to what we were uh, building for the, the custom systems that we had a few years ago. But since we've been in Germany for the last three years, we haven't offered those. And now we have a woodworker in Berlin who's, who's building us cases. So this year we will be launching uh, three new complete systems that will ship in a case like this, or there's a wood grain, beautiful work craftsmanship version of it. So the foundation oscillator is the, the same core that we used in the harmonic oscillator and the complex oscillators, a triangle core, discrete transistor type VCO that inherently puts out a triangle and a square that come out here on their own outputs. But then a totally new wave shaper that allows for the, the timbre control actually will blend between a sine wave and on these three outputs, three different uh, more rich waveforms at the, the top of the range. Uh, and a bit like the, the Buca 258 oscillators, but three different, different options at the same time and the, the spike, a very narrow fixed width pulse that is a sort of nod to the music easel where, where that existed before. And then the, the totally new part of this is the richness control, which effectively dub, uh, multiplies the, the frequency of these rich waveforms. So um, let me yeah, give an example. Yeah. So here, we have, we have just a sine wave, and then as we... Now we're hearing the, the, um, the spike, which... And wait, where is this? Uh, let me uh, de-effect. Okay, so now we're hearing the spike, and as we increase the richness... That sounds a bit like uh, an oscillator that's slaved uh, with hard sync, slaved to a, a core oscillator, but it's all coming from one core. And if the timbre control is, is down, the sign stays at the fundamental and the, the, the richer harmonics are multiplied. And this can, can be done dynamically with these uh, attenuverters or reversing attenuators have and because the the spike square and saw are happening out of their own outputs, they can effectively be run to separate processing chains, so it can do multiple things at the same time. Beside, besides the, the simple fact that 
some of our users were hoping for a, a smaller oscillator to fit into that last space in a system. So the, the triangle and square waves are there for simple modulation tasks and the more complicated wave shaping is available for something more demanding or more unique. The second module, the, the noise and filter, the, this is just the raw pink noise coming out of Pink noise, of course, is, is equal, equal content in all octaves, so a little bit darker than white noise and useful for percussion sounds and and noise sweeps and washes and then that noise output is normal into this four band filter bank with low low mid high mid and high the frequency bands or the the frequency ranges are matched to the, the the bark scale that's used in the bark filter. So if you were to break up into the, the 12 bands of the bark filter into four sets of three, these these frequencies of division are actually in the spaces between those. So this is useful not not only just on the noise that's internal, but for instance with together with, for instance, with the scan and pan where you have four inputs that can be scanned across or panned out or whatever, the four outputs pair really nicely with that. And it's a nice, small, simple module that, that has some unique tricks. So finally, the uh, uh, fresh, freshened up. Amplified. Yeah. Well, and, and the, the, the amp and tone being freshened up and uh, being reduced in size and streamlined a bit allows the, the systems, for instance, this, this setup here where we have uh, the, the two, uh, the harmonic and, and the complex oscillator in the system, it allows us to have two back ends in, in the system, whereas before the, the space dictated that we could only fit the one. So that opens up the, the full independent voices in a way that, that the complete system before didn't. And I suppose, yeah, it just makes it a bit more flexible, right? But so should we hear a bit of the amp and tone? Well, we, we've been hearing it, but yeah. Um, let me see. of the filter it has a normal so when you're plug when you plug an envelope generator into or anything into the exponential CV input you you're affecting both the, the, the amplitude with the exponential CV and the, the the filter cutoff so all of the the typical low pass gate type sounds that come from a single pole low pass filter when the resonance is all the way down a single pole low pass filter and an exponential VCA are happening here effectively. 
but we also have the ability to go into some heavy resonance territory. And by balancing the input gain against, sorry, uh, by balancing the input gain against the, the amount of resonance, we're able to, we're able to control where the distortion is happening if it's from, only distorting the feedback, or the resonant behavior, or if it's distorting the input, or a combination of the two, if they're fighting for that bandwidth. And it, we, we've switched from uh, a Vactrol for the filter to a discrete transistor solution. So now we're able to, to dial in more percussive and aggressive uh, sweep sounds than we were before which which actually in our in my opinion and the people in our office have decided that it's it's an advantage to to get away a little bit from the unpredictability of the Vactrol because we're able to use it in a for, in a more um, aggressive percussive way than before and and if you want to slow down the constants to soften it up you can do that with the envelope generator. So it, it's, um, it's a, a little bit tighter, uh, tighter ship than it was before and able to fit in a, a smaller space. Cool, so um, uh, the million dollar question, when, uh, when are you hoping to kind of have everything ready? And the, the noise and filter and the amp and tone are already shipping. So they, they started shipping last week. The foundation oscillator is designed, but um, we'll start manufacturing in February. So I think I think we'll see those available in um, maybe March first. Excellent, Mark. Thank you very much. Thank you.